Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Mercy with Discount Low Voltage and uh, I do get a lot of phone calls with people talking about armored fiber optic cable. Um, there are two different types of armored cables, so I just thought I'd maybe make this a little bit of an educational video for you so you'd get a better feel for uh, both of these cables and what might work better for your application. So let's go ahead and start off with the outdoor armored cable. Okay, so here's a quick look at your armored burial cable. Now the jacket itself, this the outside jacket, this is a very uh, durable cable. And life expectancy on this type of cable, I would expect it to last you around, I'd say about 30 years. It's very similar in design and feel, and the strength of this cable feels a lot like the PE89 copper cables. Now, those cables are also expected to last about 30 years, but this is the armor right here. It is a steel tape. It wraps around your fiber, and for a lot of burial applications, it'll be a loose tube fiber, not a tight buffered. So if you have any issues with gophers or rodents and you want to do a direct berry type of install, this is what you want. If you plan on running a conduit or interduct in the ground, and then you would probably want to go with a non-armored just because the cable would be more flexible and you don't need to pay extra for something that's not going to be very beneficial for you. So, And loose tube design, uh, this is where the fibers are in this tube go ahead and visit our youtube channel to, there is a comparison video of u2 uh, i'm sorry of loose tube versus tight buffered so the other thing i do want to mention is this type of cable it's not indoor rated it's only outdoor rated and there is a national electric code that specifies that you're not supposed to bring this cable within uh more than 50 feet into the building if there's a fire it will let off toxic fumes that could uh you know the number one cause of death and fire is uh, smoke inhalation so keep in mind uh, keep that in mind all right let's take a look at the indoor okay so this is your indoor armored fiber it has a you know it looks more it feels more like a metal clad type of armor which is pretty common in a lot of electrical cables the you have an outer jacket here that wraps around everything and you got your pull rope right here to take the outer part off now the cable itself inside of it, this is going to be a tight buffered construction and it's very flexible and it is a lot more flexible than the outside plant cable. Okay. Now, like I mentioned before, this is not an outdoor rated cable, this is indoor there is an outdoor armored. So if you're looking to do a complete, I'd say maybe building to building install where maybe you need your armor to go more than 50 feet into the building, you'd have to put a junction box in between these two cables to do that. So there's a quick look at both of them, just so you have a better feel for the product. The indoor and you have the outdoor. Okay. Now, one of them is more commonly a tight buffered and the other loose tube. If you want to know the difference between those two, go ahead and check out the YouTube channel. Hope this kind of helped, uh, you know, helped you out figure out what cable you might need. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks.